We had two weeks left in the Oceania part of the world and we went to Tasmania. Why Tasmania? Because it's simply a must-go destination for all climbers. Because I wanted to summit as many poles as possible. From the guidebook and we found five places we wanted to climb Mount Wellington, the Totem Pole, the Moai, Mount Brown and Cape Rail. We started with Mount Wellington because it was kind of the easiest to get to and we picked a route called Slap Dancer. Slap Dancer is a route that a lot of friends told me to get on uh, that I've seen in photos and videos that has a little gnome at the top of it. The line looked like it was just going to be simple compression, which I love. I love climbing compression, um, but it was very technical. The feet were horrible, the hands were flared out, so it was kind of slopey. Heel hooks didn't seem to work so much, it was like kind of the side foot and lean over. Just learned a different style of compression that I thought was just going to be basic refrigerator to the top. The temple awaits. Obviously we had to go to the iconic totem pole and when you get to there and when you start rappling down to get to the base of the totem it's like mind-blowing you're like where the hell am I right now? <laughs> oh yes this is a jazzy adventure. You see pictures and videos of the feature itself, but you never really hear about the climbing and we'd have to say that the climbing was amazing. The rock is super solid, the movements are cool, and just climbing on this array and on the pole, and it's, it's unique. To go back over to the mainland, you have to think about it before because you have to install a Tyrolean. That's quite a, quite a Tyrolean, huh? Hello! We had a few rest days in Tasmania, so we took advantage of the wildlife that is just roaming around there. The Moai should get as much fame as the totem pole. For sure it's just another sea stack tower, but it it feels different. It feels like it's more secluded and remote and just as tricky to access as the totem pole. all on its own and all sides are climbable. Some trad lines, some bolted lines, and we were just like two kids in a little playground and we just got after it.
when you get to the top of Mount Brown and you look over the cliff edge, you don't see any cliff, you just see ocean. The cliff is overhanging just enough where when you wrap down, you just dangle over the ocean. God, that's so weird. Did you just finish the food? Going to the top. <laughs> Everything in Tasmania we've climbed is unique, but this place is like, I still can't even think about it, it's like from another planet. <laughs> I just did a pull up. What? Looks pretty crazy. It's a lot of void below us. We went into the Cape Rural Adventure with local uh, photographer and climber Simon Bishop. For Cape Rural, it was basically a 14-hour day to climb one route that was 510C. I, I guess you could say it wasn't a lot of climbing, but it was the most memorable climb I had in Tasmania. reach the summit and here comes Charlou and to top it off the climbing at the end was stellar it was such good climbing good rock enjoyable and when you get to the top you're like you have no words This is uh, one of a kind here. Yeah, one of a kind is the word. You don't really get this in many places. Nature is pretty amazing and nature in Tasmania is pretty crazy in addition to that. Definitely a lot of firsts for me in Tasmania and I think for anybody that would go to Tasmania you'll have a lot of firsts as well. We were advised to stay not more than 10 days in Tasmania. Um, for sure we did a lot of very cool stuff within those 10 days, two weeks. It seemed that there is so much more to explore in all the island. I enjoyed Tassie because it's just something different and you don't have to go there and be in your top physical shape or worry about crushing hard. You just go there and you absorb the ocean and the towers and the climbing and the life there. This was the end of our three months in the Oceania and we really enjoyed all um, Australia, Grampians, Tasmania, New Zealand and now we're moving on on the other side of the earth to go to Puerto Rico. <laughs>